the last element for um, in terms of text and images working together is the link that Take A Break has to their Facebook page, which needs a little bit of styling down here. It's usually sat on a yellow background. So uh, for now, I am just going to go and um, if I try and select the logo in here for Facebook, it won't let me because this text frame here for the main article runs all the way down to the bottom. And I'll need to drag that up to about here. So it's, it's out of the way. Uh, then I can click away from that, move this logo out of the way as well for now. And then I need to drop in a yellow box inside of here. So make sure that my images layer is active in the layers panel. Go to my rectangle tool and then I'm going to make this uh, five rows deep and just drag it into a region like this. I'm going to change the color to take a break yellow. Press the return key on the keyboard and then I can switch to my selection tool. And to get this to run out to the bleed, um, it's kind of necessary sometimes to drag and draw things out in the uh, in the columns and where the, the guides are so that it snaps to these lines. If you try and create a rectangle out to this sort of area here, there's nothing to snap onto, so we can't get the height right. But now I can just hover on my cursor of the middle right hand handle, drag across and then out to the bleed line in there. So I've got the height and the width looking right now. What I need to do next is round these two corners. That's the style it has in Take a Break. So uh, to do that, there are options at the top in the control panel where you can uh, change the style of the corners, but this will change all of the corners in here. So if I hover my cursor over this symbol here, hold down the Alt key and Alt and left click, it allows you to edit each corner independently, but you'll have to unlink them first of all. Turn on preview, and then I can change the top right corner, sorry, top left corner, to rounded. Let me get that, and I can change the bottom left corner to rounded as well. So you see that these two here representing the top right and bottom right have been left exactly as they are. And we get this rounded effect in here, which is uh, according to the style guide. So with that done, I can then uh, click on OK. Um, I can then probably just leave that now. Um, so it's probably best if I go to object and then choose lock to lock that item. So I don't click on it now. And then with a the Facebook symbol here, this is a little bit tricky because if I drag it over here, first of all, it's behind. So I need to go to Object, Arrange, Bring to Front. And it needs to be small, but notice that we've got these white gaps in the background. So um, I will need to go to File and Place and then re-pick the Facebook logo and then click on Open. And with these import options turned on, Transparent Background. And that will, when I click OK, it will get rid of the white background. That's good. Then I'm going to go to Auto Fit to link all of this together. And then I'm going to tap down and just change this to uh, let's go for 11 millimeters and then I can drag it into position just up here like so. So we get this sort of room for it like that. That's good. Um, I do need to apply text wrap to that. So I've got my text wrap panel in here and I'm just going to click on this one here, which is wrap around uh, object shape. That will create a text wrap that's the same shape as this rounded rectangle almost in here of the Facebook logo. And that should be enough for now. We might need to increase it, but I'll just leave it for that for now. Click away from there. I'm then going to lock the images layer and then click on my text, pull this across on here. And um, this needs to be smaller. So I'm going to pick up my type tool. I'm going to change the font family to Myriad Pro. So I'm going to my recently used fonts up at the top. So Myriad Pro. And it needs to be. Uh, condensed size is going to be set to 12 points, but I'm going to tighten the leading on this to be very tight. So it's 12 points of type on 13 points of leading. And then I also need to go to the take a break official. So those words need to be in black. So the black style. So going down the list all the way down to black makes them really big. And then I also need to color them red. It's very confusing. Uh, to take a break red. Press return to make the pop-up disappear. Hit the escape key. And then now I can hover my cursor over the handle, pull this right across in here, and then pull this handle in. So it's level with the margin on the right hand side. And we need to do some work with this one. So if I can get this logo, so I might need to lock my text for now, unlock my images layer, click on the logo, and then go to my text wrap options in here. It may be that I have do go back to wrap around bounding box so that I can get all the edge offsets in there. When it's set to wrap around object shape, you just get one value. So with that done now, I'm going to unlink them 
and then go to the right offset and increase that just to push the text out a touch in there and then click away move that logo up a touch into the corner and then I need to lock my images layer unlock my text and then click on my text frame and see if I can just pull this up in here a little bit more like so and pull that across see if I can get all that working together so yeah I think we've got that working in there and um, if you want to get rid of the, um, the uh, hyphenation you will have to switch to your type tool go to your paragraph options in actual fact they're over here so I could turn off hyphenation if you want in there but you're going to get some big gaps in there so just be aware of that if you don't want the hyphenation splitting the word Facebook in there then um, that is something that you uh, you will get is going to be this extra space on the right hand side in there without hyphenation turned on so hyphenation turned on looks like that turned off looks like that but I think that's um that's going to be okay for now I'll switch to my selection tool and that gives us the uh, Facebook um, link at the bottom down there um, and then I'll go to file and I'll choose save because I've done that for a while and then I'll close down my text wrap panel and the last thing we'll take a look at is page numbers